Hey Capricorn, welcome back. This is going to be your February 2022 reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Please remember to flip and switch the roles as they apply to your situation. And also remember to take what resonates and leave what does not fit for your story, okay? I hope you guys are doing well. So let's pull a um, Priestess of the Light Oracle card for you guys for your February 2022. Let's see what comes out for you. All righty, for Capricorn Spirit, please give me one card for Capricorn. Um, for their February 2022, please and thank you for Capricorn February 2022 predictions. What is going on for Capricorn Spirit? Okay, it's too many. One card. Oh my gosh, Spirit, that's too many. It's too many. All right, so we have two, that's fine, but I'm only gonna read one. At the bottom of the deck, we have Miracles, Ancient Wisdom, number 39. Some of you guys could be 39. Okay, but let's see. We have Earth Magic, Fearlessness, Removing Obstacles. Okay, then we have Harvest, Gathering of Blessings. Okay, let's see which one I wanna read though. Cause I feel like it's Harvest Month for you. You guys are going to be um being blessed for whatever you were, um, whatever seeds you were pl planting in the previous months or maybe last year sometime or something like that. I'm hearing some of you guys could own a farm here. Something about your ancestor too. You're going to be, um, your ancestors, you're going to be, um, there's some type of, uh, how can I say it? Something you're inheriting. Okay. When it, when it comes down to your ancestors here. But let's let's just do um let's do the um harvest one. I wanna read that one. Let's see. Oh, where's my book? Okay. Number 44. Some of you guys could be seeing 44 four, or 444, four, four, whatever. Some of you guys could be 44. So let's see, it says the priestess of the harvest gazes at an ear of corn with great reverence and appreciation for this sacred sustenance. Okay, that's what the card looks like. It says the cause, the seeds, along with the effect, the nourishing food, coexists right in her hands, a tribute to the bounty and blessings of Mother Earth. The priestess knows that her own efforts and intentions are part of the ongoing abundance that, that nature provides. When you receive this card, you are being put on notice that your harvest is coming. There is a project or goal to which you have devoted much effort and attention, and you are about to reap the rewards. You have planted your intentions with care and taken the action needed to tend to the seeds and cause them to thrive. So if you haven't already seen the fruits of your labor growing in your life, be aware of the potential bountiful results about to come your way. And if there is some work yet to be done, consider the best course of action and make that a priority. Remember too, the sim simulanity, simultan simultaneity, or however you say that shit, <laughs> of cause and effect. Even as you are, even as you are harvesting the blessings of past actions, you are planting the seeds of future outcomes. So as you ready yourself for the coming harvest, also know that your sacred appreciation for the gifts you're receiving will be seeding the, the energetic fields with even more joyous results. Okay. It says affirmation. Your affirmation is I work joyously on the, the goals that I am planting now. And I appreciate all the support and sustenance that the universe has to offer. Okay, so either it's harvesting season for you guys um, in February, um, you're being blessed for whatever you've planted, the seeds that you've planted, or you need to get to work. You need to get, get to work, Capricorn. You need to do it and do it now. Okay, you might as well start. It's just, you know, January, what, 27th? You might as well start. All right, let's see for Capricorn Spirit, what is going on for Capricorn uh, for February 2022? Oh. What could they be expecting? What can the Capricorn be expecting? So we're going to pull to row, clarify these cards. What can Capricorn be expecting? January 2022. Please and thank you. What is going on for Capricorn? January 2022. All right, let's see. For Capricorn spirit messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, yeah, new cycle. So we have the world. Completion of a major milestone, fulfillment time, success, broadening your horizons, end of a journey. Okay, so something is closing out for you guys. 
All right, let's see. Let's keep going. What else for Capricorn? Love offer. Okay, it says being axed out on a date. Love to the next level. Positive new love coming in. A job offer you love. All right. Ooh, it's getting good. It's getting good. So some of you guys are working hard to be in a relationship with someone. You're fighting for this relationship. You feel like it's worth fighting for or something. Um, closing out a cycle maybe with someone else. What else? Or it could be a job. What else for Capricorn? Crystal ball. Events taking place in the future, inner knowing, occult and esoteric knowledge, stepping into your spiritual power. Okay. So you guys are very powerful manifestors. I feel like you can manifest whatever you want this month or if you haven't, start doing it. Okay. Keep a positive mindset about your manifestations. Don't rush them. Okay. What else? What else for Capricorn? Maybe there's a spiritual connection here as well. All right, yeah, divine timing, as I said, don't rush them. So something you can't control, learn to let go, trust in divine timing, be patient. All right, let's move this stuff down. Then we have higher power, yeah. You're being led by spirit to do something or it's just maybe it's taking a while to come in, but it's happening at the right time. It says choosing your highest good, aligning yourself with the universe, with, with your higher self, connected to spirit on the path of the divine. Okay, one more for Capricorn Spirit. One more. What else for February 2022? All right, then we have learning. It says feeling tested with a situation, searching for knowledge, further education, or student discovering some truth. All right, so let's get some tarot and let's clarify these here. Hmm, so whatever you... Yeah, and then we have rebuilding. It says rebuilding your life after loss, investing a lot of effort, ready to take action to improve, determination and drive. And then we have angel under that. Yeah, you guys are being guided by spirit to do something or it's time for it to happen, whatever it is. Let's see, for Capricorn spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus and North Node for February 2022. Why is the world here? Why is the world here for February 2022? I'm hearing planting seeds. Some of you guys do own a farm. Did I say that? A farm or a garden or something here? Or you want to? Maybe that's a dream of yours. Let's see. Why is the world here for Capricorn? What is this world card here for? <clears throat> the star at the bottom. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Why is the world card here? for Capricorn all right justice could be dealing with the Libra all right so something here is balancing out for you for some of you it, um this talks about legalities here maybe a court case that's open for you or something like that but I see something working out in your favor I see a victory coming all right this could be um what this journey is maybe you've had a long journey of dealing with someone that you had to take to court for whatever reason all right um but there's positive movement forward with this you're going to get the justice that you deserve, the balance that you need here. Things working out in your favor. Okay. Uh-uh. You have to wait. Come on. Come on. Stop. So let's see. With the world. Let's clarify the world. Get your tablet. Get your tablet. Because I can't do nothing right now. Yeah. Something is going to be victorious. You're going to gain public recognition for something. or I don't know. I'm picking up that, that reading I just did for Aries or something like that. You gotta turn you gotta turn it down. So yeah, I feel like something is going to be um victorious for you here. Alright. Something is working out in your favor. A course situation looks like it's gonna be victorious. For some of you, that's what it is. A time of success. Rebuilding your life, the end of a long horrible journey possibly <laughs> or it's just long and drawn out okay let's see what else for the world the six of cups okay so maybe something from your past you could be revisiting something from your past you could be having dreams about this this situation or someone specific you could be having yeah like really really um dreaming about this but somebody from your past could be returning or maybe someone someone you grew up with maybe you had to take this person to court but 
I feel like there's a cycle coming in with someone from your past. I'm hearing reconciliation. It's going to be a victorious reconciliation and getting together. Okay, I feel like you have a lot of memories with this person or you're just dreaming about them. You're having nostalgia. You're thinking about them here. But there's a new cycle coming. Either with someone from your past or just a situation in your life is closing out and you're starting anew. But something about your past is relevant though. Yeah. What does love offer here? Yeah, that's that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, Divine Feminine, the Empress. So somebody here that you find to be very beautiful, okay, or they, they find you to be this way. Um, you're wanting to offer something to this person. You see them as um, a very, very gracious feminine energy, okay? They're very um, kind-hearted inside and out here. They look good inside and out. They, they smell good, possibly. I feel like somebody smells really good. <laughs> okay i don't know where that's coming from um for some of you this could be the mother of your children or it could just be like somebody that you have met that you built something with already but it never took off yeah this is somebody from your past that you look at as your person this person you're going to ask this person out on a date possibly but this is somebody that you love or somebody that you care for right now and is growing okay Let's see what else for love offer. If it's not love, it could be um this this could be you here, Capricorn. You are um planting seeds for whatever you're trying to birth. Okay, the Empress does stand for fertility as well. Or all right, um somebody here could be pregnant, or maybe February is a fertile month for you. But um, yeah, whatever seeds you're here planting for yourself, I feel like um is going to be very fruitful for you. You're gonna enjoy it. What else for um or it's coming in for you, whatever those seeds that you planted, or if you haven't, it's time for you to start now. All right, so maybe by March, you can at least get the offer, but I feel like it's coming in in February because I feel like you've already been working for this. What is love offer uh, for Capricorn, February 2022? The Five of Wands and the Tower. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this this Empress person, they have a lot of um suitors or people around them just want to be with them here. But you you want this person, right? You know, they could possibly want you to. I feel like, you know, maybe they do. Some of y'all. I know some of y'all are like, no, I don't want my past, but I'm just saying. Um, there could be someone from from your past that's giving you a hard time to get to this person, or there could be something like that happening. A lot of chaos and confusion going on, a lot of things, uh, a lot of tower moments people and places and things being torn down around you to even get to this person a lot of obstacles maybe there was some deception here with the moon what is this five of wands right here somebody could have you could have put this empress in um competition here that's not a good thing to do <laughs> but what is this five of wands right here for uh capricorn what is this five of wands for capricorn yeah three of swords i mean this could have been a third party situation that's that's been going on here somebody watching spying trying to sabotage something for you or this this could be you just in self uh, self-sabotaging behavior or something but i feel like it's other people or someone else in the way but i feel like this shit has come crashing down or it is in february so that way you can get to this person maybe you broke this person's heart here you you want to rebuild you want to you want to rebuild i feel like spirit is telling you to come do this whether they i don't know if they take you back or not but yeah so what is this tower there is some heartbreaking and some heartbreak some crying some depression what is this tower the lover is the queen of wands yeah hear that damn queen of wands though man i swear this it's just this queen of wands they're, in my readings, I swear they always represent it as like the mistress, the 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 person that's trying to get in the way or the problem. This this bitch gets on my nerves when they pop out. They do. But definitely a choice between two here. I feel like there there could have been a fire sign that that's getting in the way of between you and a Taurus or or a Libra or something like that. But this person, there was a choice between two. I feel like somebody chose this person or they 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 were some type of third party in the middle of you and your person someone from your past or whatever but they were definitely in the way or trying to get in the way or whatever they did was just doing stupid shit but 
I feel like the tower came crashing down with this person. I feel like, or this this was a tower moment in your life and, and the Empress's life because you could have abruptly left this person, left them in heartbreak, betrayal, hurt, you know, by choosing this, this Queen of Wands that only gave you a problem. They only wanted to fight you and argue with you and, and be in conflict. They just are jealous of this person. Yeah, but you and this person love each other. Yeah, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. There's a deep connection here between you and this Empress person. Somebody here, there's a strong sexual connection that somebody has with someone else. It could have been just a, a sexual relationship between someone and, and someone else as well, but with the Queen of Wands and the Lovers. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else, what is Crystal Ball for Capricorn? Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you already know something. Something is coming out. I feel like somebody here is just smart as fuck. Somebody already knows that there's a secret or a lie that's being revealed or it's already being revealed. Somebody could do tarot readings here. Somebody could, um, you just know shit. Somebody has an inner knowing. Their intuition is just powerful as fuck. Yeah, somebody already knows the secret. So if you haven't told someone something yet, they already know it. It's already came out to this person. And they might not have told you. Or you might not have told them the secret, but it's coming out because this person's intuition is telling them. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Somebody don't want, want, want you to speak or, or something like that or trying to block your throat chakra or stop you from getting, yeah, with the Knight of Pentacles, something here has been stagnant. But I feel like, you know, something is coming out. Something here that you already know about is coming out here. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> what else for Crystal Ball for Capricorn? The three of cups yeah about a third party yeah i feel like somebody here wants to reconcile with you capricorn and they're gonna spill the beans they're gonna tell you something but i feel like uh there's there's more than one person i mean more than two people here it's probably three or four just maybe it could be family friends it doesn't have to be another lover but it could have been what else for crystal ball a lot of uh people involved what else for crystal ball somebody's gonna tell you about a third party yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody that someone was with that was in and out or, or sneaky or deceitful. Somebody's reckless with their sexual life here as well. Yeah, Knight of Cups in reverse. Wow. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups in reverse. So this just explains it all. Somebody just doesn't know how to have self-control. Somebody just wants to fuck with everyone. Somebody likes indulging in the third parties and the, the they just like doing that type of shit. So I feel like, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody was not truthful and honest here. Somebody was, um, you know, not keeping their promises, not staying still. Somebody just doesn't know how to stay still. They're never satisfied is what I'm hearing. But I feel like this this is coming out about someone. Cheated. Someone cheated, lied, or did something. Yeah. <laughs> what is divine timing for Capricorn? So the nine of wands yeah it's like it's like somebody's releasing control okay you can't control this uh whatever this is that needs to happen it's just time for you to rest with the four swords or come february just just release it and let the divine handle it okay it's the, the secret or whatever this is or the communication that you want from someone excuse me i feel like it's happening in divine timing but you just got to let go i feel like somebody is letting go somebody is releasing control with the nine of wands in reverse, you can't, you realize you can't do something. You can't control a situation. You can't control anyone, really. So you just feel like it's, it's, it's a dead end situation anyway, when it comes down to, you can't make nobody talk, basically. You can't make them talk. You can't make them come to you when you want them to come to you. You can't make them reveal anything. Okay, I just feel like you're giving up on it. You're letting it go, just period. For some of you, somebody could be dropping their guard too. Let's see. What else for divine timing? What else for divine timing? So somebody here, yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is this is that uh so we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Empress. It's a lot of people here. A lot of feminine energies. So maybe a lot of karmic energies or a lot of um you know, maybe women cousins or aunties or whatever the fuck. A lot of people involved. But I feel like somebody's giving up on this Queen of Swords in reverse. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because they're just a mean person. They're very nasty, vindictive, spiteful. They could be even abusive, verbally abusive, abusive, especially this person here. I don't know. The Queen of Swords in reverse could, you know, talks about liars, 
<laughs> being dishonest. Okay. Yeah, since this person gossips or has gossiped about maybe you and your person or you and someone or whatever. But they cause it cause you to be very scatterbrained because they're deceitful and they're very bitter. This is somebody that's bitter. And you're giving up on this person. You don't wanna you don't wanna be bothered with them. Yeah, you're just, just over. Let's see. What else for the divine timing? The fool in reverse, yeah, because they're foolish. <laughs> Could be an Aries or um specifically an Aquarius. This person does foolish shit. They're very reckless and they don't give a fuck who they hurt. They just do whatever. So I feel like in divine timing, this person is going to be handled by the divine. Just let them go. Let them be. In due time, you'll see this person. Not that, not that you want to see them go through shit, but it's just like, okay, karma's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this person definitely cheated on you or, or somebody cheated on someone, somebody here. Yeah, somebody just fed into their sexual... Uh, I'm hearing addiction. Somebody could have a sexual addiction or they don't know how to keep their legs closed or their, their penis in their pants. They just... I don't know. But yeah, the fool in reverse is definitely um somebody not wanting to change their ways, somebody being reckless, you know, doing reckless shit. And I just feel like you're giving up on this person. It's just over with. <clears throat> and trust in divine timing that this situation will be handled if you're the one that wants the Capricorn back or if a cross watcher is, uh, yeah, that's a cross watcher or Capricorn, if you want your person back, this has to happen in divine timing because somebody here needs to be cut all the way off. <laughs> somebody is just annoying. So this, because this love offer is coming in in February. So this will happen throughout February for some of you, not all of y'all. So take it how it resonates. But yeah, let's see. Why is higher power here for Capricorn? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, something here is just coming, crashing down, man. A family situation. Something here that was like a, a good situation just turned really sour. Sour. I feel like it's it's been sour, but somebody's just realizing it. Because somebody is maybe realizing that somebody likes to lie or cheat or run around with other people. Yeah, you're, you're letting this situation go because it's not on the path of the divine. You're not meant to be with this person anyway. You probably have kids with them or something, but you're not meant to be with this person. You're, you're learning who you are and where you're supposed to be. Spirit is giving you, um, they're giving you signs. Could be seeing synchronicities here. You guys could be seeing nine, nine, speaking of synchronicities. Or I don't know why I said that because I only see one nine, but okay. You could be seeing nine, nine. So maybe that came out for a reason. Um, six, six is here. Three, three. Three, three, three. The Empress is number three. So three, three, three could be seeing. Let's see, what else for the higher power for Capricorn? The three of wands. Yeah, another three. So yeah, definitely threes Um, in reverse. So th this three of wands, I feel like in reverse right here speaks of delay. Something here is delayed due to a family situation that someone is going through. Or there's just been a lot of delays in your life here because um you're going through a deep transformation or spiritual awakening and it's time for you to let go of people places and things that aren't serving you so if that means letting go of cousins family you know just people that's in your life here that you consider family it's just time to let them go it's time to release all right but the three of wands in reverse also means um delays so there could be um delayed travel plans here due to the situation it could mean that you're returning to someone i do feel like that with the six of cups you're returning to get a victory with someone once the situation is over and, and it, it also just means with this three of wands and the ten of cups that this family situation lacked a lot of progress like you just wasn't seeing something grow it wasn't enough it just wasn't something wasn't growing with this person or these people or whatever but yeah, I feel like you feel like that you left, you um, you held on to the past for too long and it's just time for you to release it. Okay, some of you guys, this could be a long distance relationship you have with someone here. But let's see, what else for higher power? The king of wands. So we have the king to the queen of wands. So this is a... um. Okay, so this queen of wands might be represented nice, okay? Because they did come out with the lovers, okay? So then we have the King of Wands here. So you and your person here, there's a connection. Your masculine here could have been the one to have to get out of this this mess with this family. And things have been delayed between you two because there's a strong divine connection here. 
And this empress, it could be representing somebody's baby mama, okay, or baby daddy, whatever, but whoever it is, they're in feminine energy, okay, they're maneuvering like a bitch, <laughs> basically, they're acting like a bitch, they're getting on your damn nerves, I feel like this tower has came crashing down with this person, okay, and, and there's been a lot of fights and arguments because you want to give your love offer to someone else, but this person has been giving you issues, they have, they've been causing tower movement after tower movement in your life, all right, but yeah, so I feel like the masculine energy, whoever this is, is being led out of this family dynamic because it's just not growing. And they're saying that and they're ready to take action. They're regaining their confidence here. Let's see. Why is the three of wands here in reverse? For Capricorn, why is it? The seven of wands, the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, right? So, so for, you know, February 2022... I feel like uh, this person is going to be a little bit unbalanced for a minute, okay? Because they're being they're being led out of something. They're not going to take this leap. It has to happen in divine time, so you got to be patient. You you're you're being blocked from this person right now for your highest good, so that way they can do what they need to do to come towards you. Their finances could be a little bit fucked up, but this family situation is falling apart. I feel like it's over anyway. It could be a divorce or just a breakup, a bad breakup or something like that happened. But I feel like somebody's finances are not stable. Somebody is, is probably unbalanced internally. But they are choosing their highest good though, right? They're, they're, they want to come towards you. Let's, let me clarify. Let me see. They're, they're becoming more connected to spirit, to the divine. What is this King of Wands doing for February 2022? The Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, coming out of conflict. So yeah, they don't want to fight and argue with you. They're gaining their strength. They're getting their strength to close the cycle out with the world and the um, strength card. It could be a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio that you're dealing with. but or And they have fire in their chart. But they're coming out of conflict. They're trying to move away from the conflict here. And they're, they're really um, standing up for themselves and being courageous. They're fighting for what they want. When it comes down to you in this relationship and also just in their life period. Or this could be you. Just flip the roles. <clears throat> but yeah, they're learning. They're in the process of learning this February or this, you know. This upcoming February. Could be in financial debt as well. What is learning right here? What is learning? The Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like some truth is going to come out about a family dynamic or some money. Okay, um... Somebody sees where their Ten of Pentacles is, right? They're learning that you are the Ten of Pentacles or, or where they're just learning where the money resides, where they need to invest in, what they need to invest in, what to do, how to do something, okay? Ten of Pentacles does stand for long-term commitment, stability. Um, it could be a home situation or some type of, some, somebody's married or something like that. But I do feel like somebody is learning about... Um, that's what I was picking up at first. Somebody's learning about um, something that they 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 inherited or picked up from an ancestor of some sort, or they're learning about what that is. Ancestors, spiritual world, the spiritual realm. Okay. Yeah, they're they're learning how maybe how to work through their finances. Someone is, or this is what you're going to be learning. Let's see what else we're learning. What else? The Ace of Swords, yeah. Somebody's going to be learning about a lie or something. Somebody lied about some money. So I feel like somebody's going to be learning about that. Hmm. Learning about maybe, uh, ooh, there's going to be a windfall of money for somebody maybe. Or this is you, Capricorn. This is you maybe getting this money right here. You're going to be learning that you do have some type of money that's supposed to be coming to you that somebody lied about. Something was, was made unclear to you on purpose. Page of Cups fell out. What else for learning? The Page of Cups wanted to come out. Yeah, so there's communication coming in. Or this is just your psychic abilities. Like, you just know something is off. You're going to know something is off. Let's see. What is this Ten of Pentacles right here? It's right, Capricorn. Here's the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys are going back to school. Yeah, something here got you stuck. You, you're going to learn or see that something here, whatever this was that kept you stuck, you're going to be able to shift your perspective on it. You're going to be able to see that 
something is not what it looks like or not what it seems maybe or something like that for some of you. But the hangman position always talk about letting go, making sacrifices here or releasing. So <clears throat> there could have been some family members that was trying to hold you back from some money or, or the long-term stability and relationship that you want here or something like that. Yeah, you're going to take a long, hard look at whatever this is because you're going to find out something is not honest or somebody lied to you about something. What is this uh, Ace of Swords in reverse? What is this Ace of Swords in reverse? Wow, King of Cups in reverse. So somebody lied to you about their feelings. They lied to you. They, they've been emotionally manipulated towards you. They, they manipulated you. They deceived you here. This person is a liar. Um, They... Whatever they did, they ain't gonna be victorious in whatever they're trying to do. Put it that way. Whatever they try to do, they're not gonna be victorious in it with the ace of swords in reverse is dishonesty and, and trying to cause confusion, okay? They don't even know how to communicate. They did they, they just I don't know, they gave you some misinformation about something. Maybe you're gonna figure out why somebody wasn't taking action on you here. You're gonna find out that this person Mm -hmm. There could be a masculine energy in your family or something that lied to you about some money. Yeah, somebody doesn't like your ass or somebody doesn't like someone. They they set this up. Okay, Let, let's see. What, what is this page of cups right here? So somebody looking at you from afar, they're admiring you from afar. They want to give you some communication. What is this page of cups for Capricorn? Four of Pentacles. What is this page of cups for Capricorn? Four of Pentacles. The High Priestess. What is this Four of Pentacles? The Four of Cups. Can we see four, four? Wow, another four, 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 four. So I feel like you're gonna have to use your intuition because somebody here could just be trying to. Somebody's coming in very immature. The King of Cups in reverse with the Page of Cups right here. Somebody's just emotionally immature and they're trying to swindle you into something. You're gonna be learning something about who whoever this person is is trying to talk you into a marriage or a contract or whatever. They want you to invest in it, but they're hiding something. I feel like they're hiding money or they're trying to control you and your finances possibly, but they're possessive, controlling, or they want to cause financial problems in your life. But I feel like you're going to ignore this offer. Or this is somebody here that you dealt with that you missed an opportunity with. I mean, that, that could be a thing. That is here. But I'm saying this person that I'm describing right now is... Uh, it's a lot that you don't know about this person. So be careful of this energy because the Ace of Swords is in reverse. I feel like somebody's trying to manipulate you into something. Because they want you to stay stuck on them. They, want, they keep holding on to your energy or something like that. And they want you to stay stuck. They don't want you to move on. They want you to keep missing opportunities. Yeah. So really use your intuition because I feel like they're hiding something. They're hiding something. Especially involving your, your finances. Oh, okay. All right. When I get downloads, I start hiccuping. <laughs> okay, spirit. Yeah, something something fishy going on. But uh or in a family situation, whatever. So let, let's get um one of the angels among us cards. Let's see what angel could be relevant in your February 2022. I like these cards, they're very cute. For Capricorn spirit. Give me an angel card, please, for February 2022. over so i'm gonna take that one okay we have archangel zet zadikio zet zadikio that's what you say that's how you say it Z z a d k i e l zadikio or whatever number 10 it says transmutation mercy and violet flame hmm let's see i never heard about this angel oh i landed right on it you guys could be seeing number 10 purple could be significant you guys could like purple. You guys could be of an Asian. Um, you guys could be Asian, okay? You guys could have dark hair, dark eyebrows, tattoos. 
you could be an Aries or a uh, or somebody here could be an Aries or you have that in your chart somewhere or um, an air sign. You could be dealing with either one of those signs. But let's just see. It says Archangel Zad Zadikul's name means righteousness of God and he is the angel of transmutation, which, mean, which means he can take one thing and completely transform it into something else. Archangel Zedekiel is one of the keepers of the violet flame, a powerful spiritual tool you can invoke and visualize moving through your physical body, auric fields, or home to transmute any negative or stuck energy. Okay, so this this, this seems important. It says Archangel Zedekiel is the is also the angel of karma, mercy, and freedom. He works with the soul star chakra to help you activate and clear your connection to source and your guides and angels. Yeah, you're going to need this here because there's some type of deception going on. I feel like somebody's trying to confuse you about something um it says the oracle it says clear and transmute all negative negativity and stuck and stagnant energy that you have picked up that has been sent to you or that you have created then move forward with ease and grace yeah the ace of swords in reverse talks about um not being able to brainstorm new ideas too but it does talk about like muffled foggy energy or your your mind is your mental is not clear about something so it says, in regards to love and relationships, show mercy and forgiveness to others, but look after your own energy in the process. It says, work for work. It says, clear and transmute any negative energy you have picked up or, or are picking up in your workplace. Visualize your workspace being cleared by the violet flame daily. Clear your own energy after work each day. Your home. It says, clear the energy of your home. Visualize the violet flame clearing through your spaces. Clear with sound, incense, or essential oils. For your money, it says forgive yourself for your past money mistakes and focus on the future. For your well-being, take a long energy cleansing salt bath with essential oils, flowers, and candles. And for spirituality, it says work with the violet flame as part of your spiritual practice to clear and transmute all negativity you may have picked up or created. Call on Archangel Zadikul to send Zadikul. I think that's Zadikul. I think. <laughs> to send the violet flame to you. Visualize this violet flame of light clearing through your body and aura so you guys need to do some meditating to visualize this stuff this purple this purple energy here just visualize purple okay um a purple flame yeah you guys need to you, know, you guys need to do some uh, core cutting yeah it says call on archangel zadikul for assistance with activating and using the violent flame clearing negativity cutting or dissolving cores or other negative attachments activating the soul so soul star chakra spiritually purifying your physical body etheric body auric fields in your space and clearing and healing your karma yeah to embody this archangel you need to work on clearing negative energy without judgment showing mercy and forgiveness to both yourself and others transmuting the darkness into light and working with the shadow okay so yeah that's what you need to be doing for february guys that's what it says all right yeah all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading it's been very um informative it sounds like it has anyway so um this was your reading like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell and i will talk to you guys later bye